Hey guys, so a little bit ago we did a video on importing a USDZ file to create this face in SketchUp. Had a lot of questions about, you know, file size, geometry, that kind of stuff. How big was this, that sort of thing. So I wanted to run through some quick information about what was actually imported here. First, file size. So this is the saved file. You can see that this, this is the name of the SketchUp file. And it's about 11 megabytes. So that's how big this file, that's the only, I deleted everything else out of this and purged it. So that's what it takes to carry this face. If we do go in here into view, one of the other questions we had was, what does the hidden geometry look like? So if we look at this, you can see this is a nice ordered mesh. It is fairly dense. That's why we, it's so, so smooth. I mean, it looks, you know, rounded. Uh, and when we get to some of this, some of the geometry could be cleaned up. This bottom has a lot of faces on it. This could all be one face in SketchUp. So there's some opportunities to clean this up for sure. Could make this a little bit lighter, but you can see that, that mesh is very nice, very clean, that sort of thing. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out was as we brought this in, if we look at the outliner, this is the geometry, the root geometry of this model is deep. So this is the USDZ file. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight containers before you get to the root geometry. So that means if I wanted to come in here and like do a select all and count the faces, I'd have to go double click to enter one, double click to enter two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm at root geometry. Now I could do a group select here and see there is between the edges, the, the edges and the faces, there's 21,518 entities in here. Like I said, that could be cleaned up a little bit, but there you go. That's the USDZ base.